wallop blow you up. <laughs> Basically what's happening for the next 12 days, you're making films, whatever films you want to make. That's the basic plan. A lot of people think teachers are a bit square, but I'm not. I'm, saying, I'm hip to the scene, Somebody and the kids really respect me. <laughs> Look, right, I'm over here now. Do you want to come and take one? Come on, take, let me take you on a journey. Let me take you on a journey into the head of our head teacher, Claire's brain. Come on, let's go. Why did you want to be a head teacher? Because I want to rule the world. No. <laughs> I think something, well, two things. Now, I don't want it to sound corny, but um, something that is very special about it is the people that work here. Um, there are really a whole group of um, different people from different backgrounds who bring lots of experience to the place. Thank you. Um, and the children themselves, absolutely wonderful. I've worked in a number of schools in different countries and um, the students of this school never cease to amaze me with their creativity, with their intelligence and with their oomph for life, despite some of the most difficult of circumstances at times. What's your name? Landlady. What's your name? Landlady of... Landlady of house and garage. What do I love about the school? Oh, I love the young people in the school and the staff. Um, but my main love of the school is the young people. Um, I think they're intelligent, interesting. Um, I think they're... they're They've got creative ideas. Um, I'm learning all the time from from the young people as well as them learning from me. You have to be yourself. Hang on, darling. It's like whoa, too many cameras. The school is about developing relationships and helping young people to engage in learning that can allow them to express themselves and, and develop their social skills um, to go out into the real world, hopefully. We, we have a mixture of students in the school. I, I think you, you have um, people with learning difficulties, uh, some people have got speech and language, some are EBD. Some of them haven't had any schooling, so therefore their skills are limited. So there, there is a quite a diverse mixture of, um, of young people in the school. Um, for me, the most rewarding thing is developing relationships with young people and allowing them to, to be themselves um, around me, to hopefully educate them Information is knowledge and knowledge is power. If you have the knowledge, you have the power to make informed choices. And that's what I hope I, I bring to the students um, and, and, and real, real life. Ah! <laughs> that's a good shot. five years I've, I've seen a few students leave. The students I work with, you know, some of them were already in a destructive cycle and, you know, they've gone to prison, but uh, in terms of the, the music, Hello. people have gone on to perform at clubs, 
you know, a lot of the, the young boys that I've, I've had um, very close contact with have gone on to employment and education and, um, and they're doing well. You know, there are the odd one or two that, that are in uh, HMP, just yes. unfortunate that, that they were not able to access the services and, and the Ian Ricardo um, ethos. The young people that come to the school, many of them are very creative. In, in the way that they think and the way that they do things, they're very hands-on, like to get stuck in. You know, these young people, some of them are very intelligent, far more intelligent than I am. Uh, and uh, I learn from them and then I can develop the skills that they've given me or the knowledge that they've given me to, to improve my learning and development. Um, because young people, they, they come up with ideas and things that, that um, People of my age probably wouldn't wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't be even dreaming of.